Hey there folks, Comic Skykeeper here. And before we get started with the main topic of the video, just a quick reminder. My Indiegogo comic, Creecor and Chris Must Be Destroyed, uh, is live and we are approaching 20% funding, so that's nice. God bless each and every one of you that uh, took the time to invest. Uh, just a quick note, it's... Um, it's sort of action, comedy, sci-fi adventure with uh, it's the tale of um, an angry cowboy space squid and his uh, fat, morbid, obese genius friend as they uh, travel the galaxy, get into trouble and try to find a place called home. Okay, now then, main topic, the article in question. Our fascination with canon is killing the way we value stories. Now, see, here's the thing. There's no point in having stories if they're not going to be consistent. You could you could tell any kind of story without consistency, and it would people would just react against it, and it would be terrible. And then he flew away at the end. Didn't you know he could fly? Which suddenly changed everything. It's fucking stupid. Absolutely abysmal. <sighs> the people who don't like canon or continuity. Once, one scene should. So this is getting really, really angry here. The people who don't like it are um, other writers that can't be bothered. I don't want. I want to do this. Well, you can't do that because it's it's already been done. It's been done better. It contradicts a hundred other things, and they don't want to. They don't want to know that because they're lazy as fuck. But yes, it's it is a strange thing, and yeah, yet again another fan site is on the side of anyone apart from the fans so yeah you know long history of this with comic book sites and of course uh, computer game sites you know uh, some people said that when everyone railed against how awful the ending of um mass effect 3 was apparently it was so bad that they changed it and the ending's quite good now but yeah they um when they railed against it all the uh sites did a um did the same article, which is suspicious in itself. And the article was, why gamers are entitled. What the hell does that even mean? Entitled? Entitled to good games? Yes. Entitled to have the investment in three separate games rewarded with a good and good ending? Yes, they are. They pay all the fucking bills of the people who make the games. So yes, they're entitled. Motherfucker, you damn right. Anyway, maybe we should get back to the topic. Here's how you get around the idea of not of pissing people off about canon. You get people to write that actually like the thing in question. It's it's a strange thing. You get people who like it and love it, and then they'll know all the the um, the back history of it, and they won't it won't even occur to them to, to violate violate the history of it, the continuity of it. Let's say. You get people like that making Discovery and uh, Picard who don't give the tiniest shit about it. That te the technology in Picard makes no sense. He goes to his storage locker for all his stuff and then something beams in. I thought, well, if he's in his storage locker, where's it been beamed from? A second storage locker. Was it been replicated? Has it been, has the file been kept in on a computer and has it just been replicated for when he wants to look at it? In which case, why have a storage locker at all? He could do that from home. See, that, that, that's that's the least stupid thing about Picard. One of the things it tells you, they know jack shit about Star Trek. But yeah. See, they started off railing against the comic book article, and shockingly, we've, uh, we've gone down the garden path into um, <laughs> other areas. Star Trek, uh, the Abrams films... They, they would, when they get, went to warp, it was like Star Wars all of a sudden. They were in a big shiny vortex. I mean, what the hell was that? I mean, in um, Into Darkness, they um, they have a ship come after them. The, the big warship thing. And, they, and they're absolutely amazed it can catch them at warp. I'm thinking, of course it can catch them at warp. If it has a higher warp speed, it can catch them at fucking warp. But no, they didn't know that, of course, because they're cunts because they don't care. <sighs> I think I've mentioned this in several of my earlier videos, but the basic theory is, is love. 
if you love something you'll try your best for it and you will try and make it as brilliant as possible if you don't you make shit you make Star Trek Picard you make everything Marvel has done for the last three or four years you make you make those Star Wars films ah oh god and on and on and on cultural vandalism ab abound but yeah it's like a stupid example it's like the, the websites uh, the fan websites are always better than the official websites because the fans love the thing they've not just been contracted to make the official site giving it the bare minimum amount of work for the contract the, the fans put in every last detail and make it absolutely brilliant and beautiful because there's love without love there is nothing god damn I sound like a priest but yes like I said you, you can splice it a hundred different ways about what continuity and wanting to explore new horizons and stuff but the fact is uh, our genre fiction has been handed to people who don't love it and are never going to love it so hmm, I think we should probably end this rant here and I'll just show my comic one more time uh, Creek Horn Chris must be destroyed on Indiegogo right now uh, the first story is called uh, Murder Rinse Repeat and it's the story of their um, their holiday on an aquatic world when they get involved in a, um, a murderous plot. They get framed, they have to break out of prison, they shoot up police vehicles, they infiltrate the bad guy's lair, there's action adventure of big explosions and lots of plasma weaponry. The stretch goal of the second story is called uh, Pain in the Asteroids and you know after after a one-sided space battle with one of the bounty hunters that's um, after them, they try and make repairs in an asteroid base, hence the pun title. And uh, yeah, Creekhorn and Chris are heroes. Uh, they have to navigate their way through the uh, internal politics of the asteroid, which is mainly run by prostitutes. Yeah, yeah I do like that story. Anyway, hopefully that will be included in the same volume if we get to the stretch goal. Right then, um, okay, take care folks, uh, and later.